Andre Heimgartner is a young and super talented racing driver, currently competing in the V8 Supercars and the V8 Super Tour Series. He became the youngest driver in the world to win the New Zealand Formula 4 Championship at the age of 15. And here he is. Hey, bro, how are you? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks, man. Now, you're a V8 Supercar racer. That's awesome. And um, how did yeah. you get into that? Um, started a long time ago. My dad um, used to race and um, I used to follow him around as a young guy and uh, <clears throat> eventually managed to bug him to, to get me a go-kart and it's all sort of gone from there. So uh, that was, I think, 13 years ago um, now, so it was a wee while ago. Nice, man. Now, in these cars, how fast can you go? Um, they reached a speed at about 302 kilometres an hour at Bathurst, so uh, they get moving. Nice. And other than the adrenaline and going fast, what are the other things that you enjoy about racing? Um, you know, everyone does a sport uh, to win, so obviously uh, to, to win and do well is a positive, and that's why, why people keep on doing it. So uh, that's probably the biggest sort of general rush. And with racing, it's not just you, you, you involved. I'm sure there's a massive team behind you, right? Yeah, so my team's um, Pro Drive Racing, and there's about... Um, 45 people back at the factory that uh, work on the cars and sponsorship and all that sort of stuff. So it's uh, a big multi-million dollar sort of uh, deal. So it's not just the driver, there's a lot of pe other people there as well. Yeah, and uh, so, I'm, uh, so I imagine you do like a lot of racing and that's a lot of petrol. Like you must go through your petrol. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I uh, don't know the exact numbers, but when you're racing somewhere like Bathurst, uh, you can easily go through a few thousand dollars worth of fuel, so uh, yeah, you, you, you use it quite a lot. That's when you need your AA card at the petrol station, just to measure <laughs> the points that you break up on that. Yeah, exactly, just so you get some benefit from spending all that money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, now what's the most important piece of gear that you'd need to race with? Like, what's something that you just need to have? Um, it's called a harness device, so it goes over um, your shoulders here and it connects to the side of your hammer, and that basically just um, stops your head from um, coming forward and um, pretty much um, snip, uh, snapping your neck and uh, you know and killing you. So that's the most important thing. A lot of people don't know that if you if you hit a wall at about 50 kilometres now straight off um, and you're strapped in uh, properly, you can actually. Uh, you know, kill yourself just by doing that. So um, that's probably one of the most important gear that's been developed in the last sort of 20 years that's uh, really helped with driver safety. Nice, man. Now, on that note, have you had a few accidents yourself? Um, oh, luckily, touch wood. Yeah. A bit of wood. <laughs> uh, I haven't had any big ones yet. Um, I had a few little ones here and there, but um, I haven't rolled or had anything really spectacular, thank God. Yeah, awesome. Hey, now, um, do you do a lot of travelling with this sport? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a bit of an understatement. Yeah, um, oh, really? I'm, uh, I'm hardly ever here at home, so uh, you're lucky you caught me on the day that I am, but uh, the next four weekends I'm away, so and when I'm away it involves being, um, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, sort of Tuesday, come back for one day, then go again, so... Uh, I'm always, always around, always uh, traveling around. What's the coolest place that you've been to? Um, probably Rome was pretty cool. I went oh, there when nice. I was 17 to race sporters, so that was pretty cool. That's awesome. Fantastic. Now, there's probably a lot of people watching at home right now thinking, hey, this is a cool job, man. How do I get into it? So what's some advice that you'd give them? Um, basically, just any form of race sport is a good way to get into it. So the go-karts is how I did it. Um, and then there's other classes like the BMW 30s and all that that uh, people get into. But just hop in a car, have a crack, so, you know, uh, build your skills up and, uh, yeah, go from there. Nice, man. Hey, well, bro, um, it's been great to talk to you. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time out to Skype to us. And I'm stoked that we've managed to get you on, on, on your day off. <laughs> yeah, no worries. It was a pleasure. Yeah, sweet, man. Well, take care and uh, all the best for the future. And uh, we'll be watching out for you. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, bro. See you, man. Yeah.
Now, um, if you were watching that and you're thinking, hey, car racing, that looks pretty cool, well, you can get involved with that and you can follow Andre and uh, we'll keep a track of him and we'll uh, put him up on our social media for you to follow. Please, hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No, Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,